You look good on the outside, but can you tell me about the condition of your heart? Can you tell me about the condition of the parts that are less seen? The parts that seem to unravel your character like loose seams, like everybody sees that you're dressed like a Christian, hallelujah, but nobody knows why you act so doggone mean. What's wrong with you? And what would you do if you found out that purpose required a change of clothes? How long will you wear introverts colors when destiny demands that you wear bold like lion, not bold faced liar, but why do you keep lying? Why do you insist on stitching scarlet letters into your lining? What if the pain left hanging in your closet, be it trauma from daddy or mama or whatever else you've been through? What if those feelings of insecurity and inferiority, what if they felt uncomfortable because they were never really meant to fit you? You, royal priesthood, where are your garments? Do you think that you've outgrown his glory? No, see, you were called to be light. You mighty man, you mighty woman of God. Do you even remember what your armor looks like? I'll tell you what it looks like. It looks like the shedding of weights and burdens that have held you down. And even after you've shed a million tears, it looks like joy still adorning you with smiles. It looks like conquering fears, like finally standing up to your enemy. It looks like defeating strife and bitterness while refusing to be defeated. It looks like what you look like when you realize that greater is he that is in you than he that that is in the world, it looks like children treading upon serpents and scorpion, confident in the God that called them. What if you've gotten so distracted by the things on the outside that you've lost sight of the purpose and the power on the inside? What if all of those other distractions were just that? Distractions. Would you change? I'm asking you to not allow your past or any other qualification to send you into hiding. Nah, forget your old man. Just put on what God provided. And when destiny asks, are you riding? Then you can start smiling, knowing that Jesus laid down his garments for you to have access to the designer of life. What if purpose required a change of clothes? I'm asking you to not hesitate anymore. Your closet has been redeemed and you have been made free to look good and to be fit for the master's use.